So let's talk about DNS zone or yeah, DNS zone storage. Now, in this case, I'm on a DNS server that is has an Active Directory integrated zone. So this server is a domain controller and it has DNS on it with a Active Directory integrated zone here named Bassett331.local. And if I right click on that and go to properties, you'll see that this is an Active Directory integrated zone rather than a standard zone. Now, in a standard zone, you use zone transfers to replicate records from one to the other. So you'd create a primary server and then you'd allow zone transfers. And the easy way to do that is to go to the name servers tab to add an additional name server and then go to zone transfers and allow zone transfers, preferably to servers listed on the name servers tab. In Active Directory integrated zones, it works a little bit differently because it's stored in, the zones are stored in Active Directory and then they're replicated not through zone transfers, but they're replicated through Active Directory replication. And how they're replicated is determined by this setting right here. So if I click on change, you'll see my options. I can replicate to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in the forest, all DNS servers running on domain controllers in the domain, all domain controllers, regardless of whether they're running DNS or not, that's for Windows 2000 compatibility, or two domain controllers in the scope of a particular partition. And that's a little bit weird. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to go to all of the domain controllers that you wanted to have a copy of the zone. You'd have to create another Active Directory partition, and then you could tell it to store using this option. You'd give it the name of that partition, and then it would replicate to any domain controller that had was running a DNS server that had that particular partition. Now, most of the time, what we're going to do is we're going to replicate it to all DNS servers on domain controllers, either in the domain or in the entire forest. And that just kind of depends on how far we want this uh, DNS zone to spread. Do we want it forest-wide? Do we want it domain-wide? Something to keep in mind is if you're going forest-wide, you may be running in... Or you may be running into a situation where you have multiple sites connected via wide area network links. And adding on extra replication might slow that down a little bit. So you might decide that, you know what, I don't need this zone to be on every DNS server in my entire forest. I might only need it in this particular domain. And so that's where you would change that from one to the other. So that shows you where your storage is at and what handles the replication for your Active Directory integrated zones. Now I want to show you one other thing here, and that is with an Active Directory integrated zone, we're allowing dynamic updates. Now you can allow dynamic updates in a standard zone as well. And you set that using this option right here. So in Active Directory integrated zones, we can do only secure updates uh, with it doesn't mean we can't do the others. It means that's the only one that has this option. In a standard primary zone, you can't do secure only. You can do non-secure and secure, and you can do none. If you're doing a public-facing DNS server that's standard primary, you probably want none. For an Active Directory integrated zone, especially your primary one where that manages DNS for your domain, you're probably going to want it to leave it at the default, which is secure only. Okay. That shows you how to change your dynamic update settings and how to control the replication and storage of your Active Directory integrated DNS zones.